Hey guys, Dave Kama here. Um, so I got a couple questions about plateau, plateauing. It's basically what it means is you uh, you're training and you don't seem like you're progressing at all. It, you know, you train, you train, you train, you learn new moves. It just seems like your moves aren't working. They aren't. You aren't progressing. How do you get past it? A lot of questions about people. How do you get past a plateau? It doesn't seem I've been able to to change, you know, or get past this plateau that I'm on. You know, some people stay on for a long time. Sometimes you're plateauing because you feel that you're plateauing, but actually the people you're training with, the other normal partners, your par your partners are actually taking the same classes you are, and they understand how to defend the new moves you, you have, and so as you're progressing, they're progressing, so it seems like you're going nowhere. Um, the same guy, you kind of want to get better at passing his guard, you still can't, because actually he's progressing and you're progressing, so um, you could have a false sense of plateau, so you just kind of have to be aware of that. Um, if you're getting better, um, you know, train with different partners just to, to test it, you know, train with partners that you haven't trained with before, and see how well you're doing. Um, also, training with different partners also helps you to um, to get a different perspective on uh, everybody fights differently, right? There's always somebody in the gym that's the best person in the gym, and he's the one that beats everybody, right? So how does he get better, right? So if he has no teacher to teach him, just hypothetically, how does he get better? So the only way he can get better is he hand handicaps himself, he puts one hand in his belt, puts two hands in his belt, um, he allows you to mount and allows you to get high amount. I mean, he handicaps all himself. He should handicap himself so he can improve beyond that because um, as good as he is, eventually he's gonna reach, he's gonna meet somebody who's actually better than him. You know, that's the, that's the premise. Um, and he'll have to deal with that position. So he needs to handicap himself to improve. So that's the only way he can improve. So the person who's not the best in the gym can take that same approach and actually break your plateau and, and keep moving forward. When you fight with a, a different person, it um, it can actually you know break that plateau. If it's actually a real plateau, you can't get past something. It might it might trigger something in your head that will actually launch you to another level. Some guys fight really hard and they smash smash the other guy and they, they're smashing everybody all the time. You know, it's a, it's kind of a um, I guess it's not exactly the right thing, but if um, you get bigger people and bigger people and stronger people tend to use their strength and their weight all the time, you know, and they won't go to their back. So um, they're always constantly smashing everybody. They do really well, they, they, they're they progressing, you know, and they're beating everybody. They're very, very happy with themselves, but they get to the point where that smashing move doesn't work so well because, um, you know, Jiu-Jitsu teaches to try to defend yourself against the larger guy. So eventually the smaller, smaller, weaker people will eventually catch up. If you're constantly using those smashing strength moves, um, you, you're gonna eventually, people are eventually gonna catch up to that and figure out how to defend that. And you won't be able to, you possibly won't be able to use it as many people as you were before. And it actually will seem like you're sliding backwards. So if you're fighting really hard and it seems like you're going nowhere, change it up, fight really light. And you'll find out that, it depends on how you fight light, you might find out that people are climbing all over you. So just deal with that and work through that. Try to defend more, try to take a more, like a, not a, such, such an aggressive approach, take a more um, defensive approach, you know. Uh, just change it up a little bit and you'll, you'll seem to progress. I also suggest that, you know, if you want to progress really well is, uh, along with fighting hard, I think fighting hard and training really hard and, and fighting more realistically is, is what you have to do all the time. But also, occasionally you need to step back and you need to, um, uh, you need to slow it down and you just need to calm down and carefully, um, carefully work through the problems that you have. So let somebody mount and then try to work, your, work yourself out of that mount. And try to think of it more, just put yourself in a mindset of, I, I don't really care if I get out of the mount. I, I, well, actually I do, but m what I'm trying to do right now is trying to logically logically work my, my moves so I can logically get out of this, this mount position or cross side position, whatever you, you, problem you have, and try to logically work yourself out of it. And so, and give the other person on the top or, or on the bottom, whichever move you're working on, give them every opportunity to defend, to attack, and then you defend and you logically escape the, the move and you just do it over and over and over again and you might not get out for quite a while if the person you're training with is really good. And uh, seek more advice, talk to your teacher, 
um, send your questions to us and you know, we'll be more willing to help. So um, that's kind of my thing on plateauing. Change it up and uh, you'll probably get some good results. Thanks.